I feel like I'm one with the coffee. I don't, I don't know if you... <laughs> I'm an utter coffee nut job, you know that. <laughs> Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Alfie, aka Quantum Kaza. Basically, I've got a series called the Coffee Venture Series at the moment, where I go around to independent coffee shops, or just coffee shops, and review their coffee for your faces. Basically telling you if the coffee is good or bad. And in today's video, I ventured down to King's Cross. As you can see behind me, I'm at the coal yard, and I'm venturing to a coffee shop called Notes. I've been there a few times before. The coffee's all right, but I haven't actually done an extensive review. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get going. and I'm gonna go fight one of these builders. I'm gonna like literally take his hammer and hit him over the head with it. That's what I'm gonna do. So I just made it to notes and I don't know if you can hear it, there's water dripping and there's an awesome little water feature over there. And it's pretty feng shui. I'm liking it, I'm liking the vibe here. It's very nice, it's very peaceful. I just hope the coffee's good. Anyway, straight down to business. I ordered myself a oat milk latte a cappuccino and a one-shot espresso right down to drinking them reviewing them and just telling you my overall review of this coffee and this coffee shop because it's really nice here the staff seem amazing first coffee that I'm gonna review is the one-shot espresso but before I actually get into doing that I thought I'd tell you guys what blend they're using here it's a hundred percent Arabica and they're using I think it I got it here is South Minas Jaris, I, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but that's what it says here, but it's Brazil and I know Bra Brazil coffee is normally banging. It's, it's so good man like but anyway I'll chuck the little picture on screen now so you guys can read it yourself, but I'm waffling on enough Let's try this espresso. It says here that it's got an orange caramel chocolate kind of tone. So Tone I mean like taste, you know, you know what I mean. All right cool. Let's give this there was crema, there was, but I needed to eat otherwise I'd coffee crash and I coffee crash a lot when I have too much coffee, but I had to eat something quick. But anyway, the espresso. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells, um... It smells a bit citrusy, I'd say. Sorry about the shaky camera. Uh, you know, I'd say, I'd say it's caramel. I'd say it smells a bit caramelly. That, that's nice. Let's, let's give it a try. Ooh, that's good. That is a good espresso. I can definitely taste caramel. The orange is there, the tanginess of the orange. That's the citrusiness I'm getting. Like my mouth's watering. I like this espresso, this is a good espresso. Oh my God. You guys have outdone yourself. I, I looked to the shop and said that like I was talking to them. Ignore me, I'm a bit, I'm a bit bonkers. <laughs> Not too strong, but it gives you a fair slap in the face. So that's what you want when you have an espresso because you essentially want to wake up or if you want to just relax because when the espresso is too strong you just like it makes you feel all uncomfortable and untangled um if that makes sense sorry if it sounds like i got a bit of a lisp the <laughs> it's quite tangy the espresso and it yeah it's nice yeah it's really nice moving on to the cappuccino there is a bit of latte art on it i don't mind that people like to put latte art on their cappuccinos that's cool um, you can definitely see the kappa in the cappuccino on this. For those of you that don't know, basically cappuccino basically means coffee with a hat on it, so like foam. Um, if you didn't know that, you, you know it now. And I've gone hands-free because this cup is slightly bigger than the espresso and I don't want to I don't want to juggle too many things because I'll get distracted with my words. But anyway, let's give this cappuccino a go because it's moving quite a bit, but it's moving like I feel like I'm one with the coffee. I don't, I don't know if you... <laughs> I'm an utter coffee nut job, you know that. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a go. I know, I like it. Ooh. I'm getting flashbacks to one of my favourite coffee shops that closed down. It used to, there used to be a coffee shop in Angel Islington called Tinderbox Coffee. And their coffee used to give this kind of like homey, wholesome vibe, you know, like I'm getting that. And with the cappuccino, 
because it's not raw coffee like the espresso. And like the espresso where I can taste the raw like citrusiness of the orange in it, with the cappuccino where it's like milk's been steamed to the correct steam for cappuccino. But anyway, like it's affected the coffee in a different way. Therefore, like it's enhancing the chocolatey kind of caramel tones of the coffee. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. This is a very like, this is a, this is a very wintry coffee right here. Like when I say wintry, you could just sit here in the snow and just look out at the whiteness. Whiteness? It's London, it don't really get that white, does it? Nah. Waffling, waffling again. You're definitely one of the heavy hitters of this area for coffee, I tell you that now. Like, if it was up to me, I'd put you in the top five of coffee shops within the King's Cross area, 100%. This cappuccino is so good, in fact. That's a banging cappuccino, like, it was so good. Like, I can't express how good it was, it was really nice. Mad. I'm actually like overwhelmed with emotions and taste buds and like the whole like English dictionary in my head. It's mad. Oh, that is really good. Also, if you're wondering in your head, Alfie, why haven't you given it a rating out of five yet? Da, 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 da. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to it. All right. All right. Like I'm getting to it. I need to review the last one and then I'm going to tell you the reviews at the end because if I tell you the reviews now, you'll probably click off and be like, yeah, this is boring. But you know, if you're a real one, you'll stay to the end anyway. All right, you guys are now in the center. Like, let me know if you like how I'm moving it about because I remember back in my Peter McKinnon, Casey Neistat days where I was all about like the sim cinematographer kind of film movie stuff in my vlogs. Like, I remember like, you guys like it when I change the angles a lot instead of sitting still because it shows engagement and interactiveness. There's some big boy words there that I'm gonna have to go back and look what I said. So we're gonna be reviewing now the oat milk latte. And it looks banging. It had latte art, but because I've been drinking and waffling on about the cappuccino and the espresso, it's kind of faded a little bit. But a fun little fact about oat milk. Uh, what, what I've found in my experience with coffee is that uh, whenever you get oat, an oat milk latte, the oat milk enhances the coffee in the drink. So therefore you're getting like a slap in the face, but a nice gentle slap in the face that has like a critical impact like the last second. A bit like Bruce Lee's one inch punch. That's what, that's what, that's what oat milk is like in coffee. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's get to reviewing this. There we go. There we go. There's the one inch punch. There, definitely. I felt that gentle slap in the face from this coffee. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, this is interesting. This is really interesting. What I'm getting here from this coffee now, you know how before I said there's the citrusiness but with a bit of caramel um, in the espresso and then there's the chocolatey and caramel within the cappuccino but with the oat milk latte I'm getting a bit of chocolate and citrusy so it's a bit of like the chocolate and the orange together so like it's kind of like they've swapped that it's like the, the different coffees have like mix and match the different taste nodes within the drink They're within the different drinks very impressed I am over the moon with this place and whenever I'm in the YouTube space, I know where I'm going for my coffee. I'm not gonna down it, I would down it to prove a point how good it is, but I kinda wanna sit here and enjoy the feng shui-ness of the area, if you get what I mean. Okay, if you've stayed this long, you probably wanna know what I rate the coffees individually. Okay, uh, let's go of the one-shot espresso. I'm gonna rate that. A 4.5 out of 5 is such a good, I oh, know it's a good espresso, you guys like have outdone yourself. I haven't had a good espresso like that in a long time. It is actually really good, it's so good. Now moving on to the cappuccino. The cappuccino had a bit of kappa, meaning the hound top, but it wasn't too much or too overwhelming because some cappuccinos they have like half froth, half coffee. That's not what you want, you just want a, want a bit of a bit of froth on the top, you know, to make it a cappuccino. I would have liked a bit, of, a bit of chocolate sprinkled on top, but that's, that's, that's optional. I should have asked, but I didn't. That ain't even your problem. But all in all, the cappuccino here is a five out of five. Um, yeah, come here and have their cappuccino because it's banging, it's so good. It's, it's, it's so goddamn good. <laughs> um, before I tell you about the latte, I'm not gonna lie, this, this vlogging stuff's hard. I, I need to go gym more, because like, holding this camera up is <laughs> it's tiring, it's very tiring. Moving on to the oat milk latte, which I'm gonna finish in a bit, because I wanna sit here and just vibe, if you know what I mean. I can't have too much coffee today, because I'll crash. Um, you know about this. And someone in the comments, please, please tell me. Yeah, please remind me, Alfie, stop looking at the screen here. Just look at the camera, look into the lens, because then you can just 
can feel my vibe, if you get what I mean. I'm doing it again. But anyway, moving on to the oat milk latte. It is a banging, it's a banging drink. I am very impressed with the overall coffee experience at Notes. Yet again, just like the espresso, it is a 4.5 out of 5. I'm genuinely just overwhelmed with this, like, coffee. Like, it's so good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this video. I appreciate all support.